We're here tonight to talk to one of our great sponsors, Pastor Flathead Tom Innings of Broken Chains Motorcycle Church, and what he brings to the community, and never mind, brings to us at Charging Across America Challenge. I'm, re I'm pretty stoked about Charging Across America. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. We went across, as you know, in 2017. Correct. And uh, that was quite a quite an adventure and fun and breakdowns. So and an epic adventure. Yes. But I'm sure the Energica is going to be, like, amazing. Well, yeah, it should. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's a lot of logistics going on. I mean, like we, you guys just went out as a whole team. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to charge, uh, take off here in the East Coast. And uh, Stephen Day is going to take off from the West Coast. And we're going to race each other across the country and see who can get the other end fastest. Are you going to pass a torch or anything someplace in the middle uh, at 100 high, miles an hour? Uh, no, probably a high I five. I mean, whatever the legal speed limit is. Right, probably a high five. Yeah. You know, and uh, shake hands and Off wish you go. Each, each other the best and, and go. But there's 39 stops, and we're going to go pretty much nonstop. So the record is 178 hours, and we should break it under 100. So needless to say, there won't be much sleep, a lot of miles, and we'll need a lot of prayers. Well, you've come to the right place, my friend, because Broken Chains Biker Church has you covered. Yes, it does, for many years. <laughs> yeah, when you're in Bonneville, we had you covered. That's right. You, That's we had right. a nice little prayer service, and it was awesome. Yep. When we met years ago, uh, Broken Chains Biker Church was probably maybe five years old. We were in Holbrook. We were in, in yep. a warehouse upstairs. And now here we are, uh, we've been in Taunton here in this big old building built in 1862. We got Barracks 22, we turned the parsonage into a sober house for uh, veterans and first responders preferred. So it's a place for people to get sober and get their lives back on track. And we're kind of stoked about the stuff God's doing here. There are people who said when they come in through the doors, they felt something that they've never felt before. Now, that's the presence of the living God. Correct. And then the Holy Spirit yeah. and, and how he comes. You know, and, and never mind the people that used to come to this church that stopped coming for how long was it closed? Almost 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Are now coming back here and it's not their cup of tea. Correct. Yeah. But they come here week after week. Yeah. And they love it. Yeah. We, we're a little bit different than Grandma's church because we're kind of loud. We, we kind of rock it out. Loud we're sort of bo boisterous. We're. We talk about uh, being rough, rowdy, and real here at Broken Chain. So there'll be some hooping and hollering, some foot stomping, maybe some dancing. Right. But the thing is, it's real. It's it's today's things. Well, because every story in the Bible is relevant for today. But we have to present it in a way that everyone can understand. Of, of today. Yeah. You know, and then never mind all the great work that Broken Chain's Motorcycle Church does in the community. Yeah. You know? You want to give us a little bit of, of well, the miles of stuff that you do? It's You know, we were going over it the other night because there's a long list of things that we've done. So during COVID, we were picking up donated food from um, Trader Joe's and we distribute it. Well, we used to distribute it locally, but then there was problems with that. But then the city needed food for the seniors and for the kids who are out of school. So we fed the city, which is pretty awesome. We... Uh, clothe the homeless and, and, and try to offer them some opportunity to move to a different way of living. Uh, we obviously do outreach to bikers every place and Correct. hot rod shows because I am sort of a motorhead. Just a little bit. America. <laughs> That's right. And so they, we enjoy what God's doing with us and we're having fun in ministry and, and we're getting out into the world around us. We say you're welcome here in your jeans and tattoos. You know, it's whatever you're wearing, your patch, your colors that you wear, your t-shirt, yeah. and boots we've, and long hair. And we've seen them and from the homeless to the millionaires. That's true. Here. We, we have it all here. We have a really eclectic bunch of people. Uh, for a biker church, you would expect, you know, everybody, and most of us are bikers or former bikers. Some have aged out. <laughs> but we have little old ladies. We oh, have yeah. rich men. Yeah. We have regular dudes, regular gals, young people, old people, uh, people of color. We've got it all. And it's Doesn't people come here because oh, a friend of mine, uh, Ben Scuderi, said, you know, Broken Chains is Broken Chains Biker Church is a celebration church. It is. And we're here to celebrate. And I'm I'm a big fan of celebrating. 
What's the start date? April 18th. April 18th. And yep. you're leaving out of New York City? Uh, no, Manhattan. Well, yeah, New York City. Mm -hmm. Manhattan. We're going to leave from the uh, Red Ball Garage. And uh, Steve and Dave's going to leave from California. And off we go to the races, so to that's speak. That's it. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Should be a great time. I'm pretty stoked. Well, I appreciate you letting us be part of the big adventure. You've been part of my entire life I love since you, we met. I love you, cry. <laughs> No, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>